My journey through northern Vietnam continues with a little bit of drama. I've lost my phone on the road. But I still had an amazing time exploring waterfalls and despite having my scooter completely destroyed due to a few crashes that also broke both my mirrors, things like this orange beetle still give me joy. This is the road I need to follow now to go to Suza. Suza is a town with apparently lots of waterfalls where you can swim and also lots of cannabis plantations. I do not smoke weed myself, but I think it would be something very interesting to see. Due to climate change, Vietnam has experienced some of the worst typhoons in recorded history, and the damage is visible on the roads. Nobody said it was easy. Okay, I'm getting a bit scared now. I just helped that lady. Yeah, I pushed the motorbike and on my way back, I don't know what's going to happen to me, but I'm a bit scared. The road is horrible. Hello! The roads are so damaged that it feels like I'm stopping every five minutes to overcome an obstacle. Yeah. Not sure he's alive. That's the city of Yen Ming, where I have to go now. Do you recognize this plant? Yeah, they plant it over here. Uh, I'm not sure if they consume it the same way as in the West. They've got massive ones. After looking into this, it turns out these are in fact cannabis plants. However, they are the hemp or male type, which is the authorized plant okay. for agriculture, as it has lower levels of THC, the chemical responsible for the high. In other words, you cannot get high on hemp. <laughs> no! <laughs> Meanwhile, I make my way to Zuza, and my journey is blessed with beautiful waterfalls cascading down from the rocky peaks. The way to Zuza is one of the most scenic in northern Vietnam, yet few tourists choose to take this route. With long valleys dotted with beautiful villages and rapid windy rivers, you can spend hours gazing at these landscapes. When finally approaching Zuza, I have a very nice surprise. I was lucky enough to arrive when the local market is taking place. Zuza is where the several different tribes in the region come together at the Saturday market. <laughs> that's, that's your house there? Eh? Yeah. Ah, okay. The Hasyang Plateau is home to nine different ethnic groups. Your friend? Yes. Bear? And each tribe has their own very distinct clothing. What's your name? Sit. Marcos. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. That evening I enjoy a very nice Vietnamese buffet with other fellow travelers and then the unexpected happens. Hi guys, bad news, I've lost my phone on the road. Um, yeah, I've tried everything I could to find it, couldn't find it, so yeah, I lost a lot of footage that was beautiful. Uh, I'm using my GoPro now, so it should be okay. 
I, I, it's so frustrating like to lose a phone I, I really don't know what to do now I don't know if I buy a new one if I still hope that someone will find it and bring it back to the hostel or something they got my contact they, they can then let me know in the meantime I enjoy landscapes like this so it's not all bad it's still quite nice I'm still enjoying it I've promised to myself that I would still travel in the highlands of Vietnam and I would still finish this project of making the vlog so yeah, I'll do it. I'll use the GoPro and yeah, and the drone and that's it. And just as I finish ranting about my first world problems, these two oh. kids approach me. <laughs> Look! Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh, water. With so much footage lost, especially of the different tribes at the market, with all their different colorful garments, I was devastated. But there was no point thinking about it over and over again, so I decided to explore the local waterfalls. At the end of the day, this was one of the main reasons for me to come here in the first place. This is where the local kids hang out, and they were quick to realize that I was lost. Hello! These small streams of water are not supposed to be the famous waterfalls in Zuza. So they helped me to get there. Okay, I met these kids and they are taking me to a better part of the waterfall. <laughs> Through the cannabis plantation. Oh, that's the big one. Ah, okay. Let's go. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll go there. It's slippery. Hello. Yeah, okay. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, I see. Whoa, careful. <laughs> yeah? You know some fair? Okay, let's do it. Zuza is probably not the best place in the world for great opportunities in life. But I really wish they will live their lives in the happiest way they can. Huh? Chia. Chia. Ah. Copy you chia. Stop. Huh? Copy you chia. Copy you chia. At least, now when I look at this place on a map, it is no longer a blank space, but rather a place with the many beautiful and colorful faces of the mountain tribes people. The thousands of contagious and welcoming smiles. The broken roads where I almost crashed and died. Doing this, the scooter. I can do it. One of the worst roads I've 
been to, but it's just amazing, it's so beautiful. The green and luxurious views. And of course, the beautiful children playing in the waterfall. Ah. Looks like one of those mountains from Jurassic Park. Yeah, a huge storm is coming and yeah, I gotta leave. Vietnam is forever in my heart.